up everybody <clears throat> all right we should hopefully um, be getting our broom tonight I hope uh, you there uh, yes you I wonder if you might uh, come with me for a moment. You wanted to see me, sir? Yes, Sir Nicholas de Mimsy Porpington, at your service. <laughs> nice to meet you, Sir Nicholas. I know about the book you found and its missing pages. I may be able to help. Follow me, if you will. It's not too far. Wait, how do you know about the book? And that it's missing pages? Word gets around amongst the ghosts. You were spotted with Mr. Sallow in the restricted section. Don't worry. Your secret's safe with me. This may be a leap, but I believe I know who ended up with those pages. I'd be happy to take you to him, if you'd be so kind as to perform a small favor for me along the way. Hmm, a small favor in exchange for getting those pages. Yes, it's, it's nothing really. I'd be grateful if you could simply go into the kitchen and procure a little rotten roast beef. I beg your pardon. Roast beef. Rotten roast beef. That is correct. Rotten roast beef. If one floats through it just right, one can almost taste it. Mm. <laughs> Ugh. I suppose I can do that. But why me? It's simple, my young friend. My ghostly form cannot carry it. Now, if you'd be so kind as to collect the roast beef, I shall explain everything else in due course. Ah, here we are. Tickle the pear and head on in. Did you say tickle the pear? Yes, in the painting. I'll wait right here. Revelio. Uh, do try not to get in the way of the house elves. Mm, I'm already imagining sweet aroma of rotten roast beef. <laughs> Student in the kitchen. What could they want? Found themselves a bit peckish, likely. You know how hungry growing humans can get. Certainly makes Rookie's job easier. <laughs> Revelio. Here's a welcome treat. Delicious. Hogwarts house elves place prepared food on these tables. It is magically transferred to the tables in the great hall directly above. That's pretty cool. It smells good. Here's a welcome treat. Delicious. Revelio. Here's some beef, but it's not rotten. I'd best keep looking. Here's a welcome treat. Delicious. Revelio. Pink swirl. I 
house elf living quarters. Oh, wow. <laughs> Ever practical and creative, the Hogwarts house elves have created a cozy village like home for themselves among these barrels in Hogwarts kitchen. Of course, one cannot presume to know what they're really like inside as house elves have an extraordinary magic of their own. <clears throat> huh. Little house self village. It's... Revelio. Ugh, there's a disgusting smell. I must be getting close. Oh, a student? What a treat! What can Finky get for you? A pumpkin pasty? Perhaps some Welsh rabbit? Sounds lovely, but what I really need is this rotten roast beef. Ah, Nick sent you, didn't he? <laughs> Please help yourself. Think he supposes Nick's tired of loitering about simply to experience the faintest memory of the taste of food. Do you and the other house elves conjure the food served in the Great Hall? Goodness, no. Not even house elves can conjure food out of thin air. Food is one of the five principal exceptions to Gantt's law of elemental transfiguration. We can, however, multiply it, transform it, and, of course, prepare it. Then we send it straight up to the Great Hall. <coughs> Are there any restrictions as to what you can make here? Think he supposes not. However, think he has had the best luck with the many recipes left by Helga Hufflepuff. Her quince pie has always been a favorite, but the new fangled Arbro Smokies are becoming popular as well. Is it all right for students to wander into the kitchens? Well, since you asked, students aren't supposed to be in the kitchens, but Finky doesn't mind. There's nothing that lifts Finky spirits more than the company of students. We so rarely get visitors, and we have plenty of treats. Come back anytime you please. It was nice Bye. to meet you. Thank you for the beef. Happy to help, and to meet you as well. Please give Nick Finky's regards. Revelio. Who knew all of this was going on right beneath our feet? I think those are the ones I already have. I love how you can just walk around and like eat everything. Check him out. <clears throat> Smashing something for the butter beer. Or grapes for wine, I don't know. That's pretty funny though. What else we got going on in here? Check him out, he's got shit cooking up in there. Hell yeah, man. Got some bread going. Some more cakes and stuff. Rebellion. Whoa. Can I come up there? Nope. That's pretty cool. Rebellion. Here's a welcome treat. Delicious. Alright, I don't 
see anything else in here. Think he keeps all us house elves in line here in the kitchen? It's all right. She's the kind-hearted sort. Do I have more of them that I can talk to? Yeah, looks like it. The headmaster's house elf Scroop sometimes sneaks into the kitchen late at night to pill for a morsel. <laughs> we look the other way. Rebellion. <clears throat> Tenderizing the meat. That's cool. Ah, you're back. No trouble, I take it. Not at all. Finky sends her regards, along with the rotten roast beef. Ah, glad to hear it. Kind elf, Finky. Now, let's get that beef to Sir Patrick Delaney Podmore, and you'll be one step closer to finding those pages. This is all rather cryptic, Sir Nicholas. What's going on? Terribly sorry. I'm getting ahead of myself. Sir Patrick organizes the Headless Hunt, a group of headless ghosts who gather for various, uh, headless activities. Headless activities? Uh, yes, uh, you'll see. Anyway, I don't know how, but a member of that hunt, Richard Jackdaw, had the pages when he was alive. My plan is to take the rotten roast beef to Sir Patrick so that he'll allow me, uh, us, to engage with the hunt and speak to Jackdaw. Uh, shall we? What am I supposed to do when we meet the hunt? Allow me to do the talking. They can be a rather supercilious lot. I'm certain they'll be welcoming to you, however. In no small part due to the rotten roast beef you will come bearing. Very well. I'd like to meet Sir Patrick myself and see this headless hunt. Ah, wonderful. You won't regret it. Do stay behind him. It's Sir Patrick we want. Oi, Nesta, look who's here. What have we told you, nearly headless Nick? Hello, Sir Amzad. Do let us pass. We've brought a little something for Sir Patrick. Probably come to try to beg his way in again. <laughs> <laughs> Do they always talk to you like that? Oh, all in good fun. Once Sir Patrick lets me join the headless hunt, I'll be right there with them. This offering is sure to win him over. Uh, don't forget why I'm here, sir. Rest assured, you'll have your information from young Jackdaw in no time. Wherever he may be. What I'd give for a flagon of mead or a nice leg of lamb right about now. Then this party would be complete. How about the next best thing, Sir Patrick? Ah, Sir Nicholas. And a student. Who let you in? Uh, we brought you a gift. This is all very suspicious. What do you really want as if i need to ask um it, it's richard jackdaw uh, where can we find him uh, may we speak to him jackdaw eh why here he is now what a shame without his head i bet you've always wondered what that's like eh nick 
<laughs> Sir, you jazz. <sighs> it's bound to be around here somewhere. Probably being used in a game. <laughs> if you find it, I give you my permission to speak with him, my young mortal. <laughs> it's the least I can do for you for bringing this putrescent gift. <laughs> uh, sir, there's another matter I wish to discuss with you. If I may. Tut, tut, Sir Nicholas. How many times do I have to tell you? Our entry requirements are quite clear. <laughs> but, sir, I... Uh, we aren't the headless except for a little bit of tendon hunt, after all. Now, please, follow me and I shall help you find your way out. Farewell, my young friend. Perhaps your blood <clears throat> chaps will be better than mine. Wonderful night for games. Floating candles. Nothing like the feeling of a clean skin of hair. Or so I'm told. Hmm, a map. It doesn't appear to be connected to the missing pages. Best hang on to it for now. Ironic, really. Never been as level headed as I am now. Rebellion. 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 Ironic, really. Oh. Never been as level headed uh. as I am now. Rebellion. Who will be next to play our little game of hide and seek amongst the pumpkins? Hello again. <coughs> Can you help me? Ah, Sir Nicholas's young friend. Has he abandoned you? Not at all. I need to speak to Richard Jackdaw. Sir Patrick said his head might be around here somewhere. Indeed it might be. Hmm. It is a bit unorthodox to include a mortal, but if you do wish to speak with him... Oh, why not? You can speak with Jackdaw if you can find his head amongst these pumpkins. Not just once, but five times. Good old Dumfrey will move the head to a different spot each time you find it. Those are the rules. What say you? Please, could you explain the rules again? Find his head amongst the pumpkins five times. Use your wand. I cannot be more specific than <laughs> that. If that's what I need to do to speak to Jackdaw, I'll do it. Marvelous! Of course, a mortal holding a wand has an advantage over us ghosts. You can simply blast away to your heart's content. Remember, the game's not over until you find him five times. Begin! Cast away until you find him! Discover 
Lenny. Looks like we need to find another pumpkin to hide it, eh, Jack Daw? Whatever you say, Dumfrey. This is not my finest moment. It won't be long now. You will find him. And then I won't be the one to clean up this mess. I've never seen a place like that. How delightful. Revelio. Look easier than it's supposed to be. Oh, what fun! A student is playing. I've never seen it played like this. How delightful! Here we go again. I could do that too if I had a wand and a body. And I won't be the one to clean up this mess. Who would have thought a mortal would be so good at this? You've almost got him. Is it over yet? Are we still going? One more time. Young Jackdaw's no match for you. It won't be long now. You will find him. Nicely done, but what's going on? You're not a member of the Headless Hunt. No, I'm not. Sir Nicholas said you might know the location of some pages I'm looking for. Merlin's beard. I know precisely the ones you mean. <coughs> I pinched them from Peeves. How could I forget? The map on those pages led me to my demise. I was not ready for what awaited me in that cave. The pages are likely still mouldering away with my... Uh, Ah, uh, remains. Quite a final adventure, I must confess. The pages are why you lost your head. And I must visit a cave and search for your corpse. Yes. <laughs> You'd think a decapitated ghost would get used to the word corpse. Say, here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll show you where to go. What will I find in the cave? Aside from my mortal remains, if I remember correctly, some treasures, a magical bridge. But what kind of an adventure would it be if I spoiled the surprises for you? Did someone in the cave cut off your head? I was having a look around when I suddenly sensed a refreshing breeze. <clears throat> After which I felt, well, light-headed. That's all I remember. <laughs> When you visit, be prepared. I can't tell you what for specifically, but you seem a perceptive sort. Beware a light breeze. I need those pages, so I suppose I'd better meet you. Thank you. Not to worry. I'll just need to be reunited with my body first. But Dumfrey can handle that. See you at the forest's edge. Well, since we are here, we might as well sell some stuff that we don't need. Hello, be with you in a bit. <clears throat> Let me move my picture here real quick. 
I'm just going to turn it off for a second. Well, I guess we, uh, hang on a second. No one can say I don't keep a stack shelf. Takes him up 26. And it is literally the same thing that I was wearing. All right, so silver wooden spectacles we can get rid of. I did get a new handle, I forgot about that. Arrow pink swirl. Molded pink and gold swirl handle. It's not too bad. Trend school robe and the Quidditch robe, legendary. Okay. Let me guess, you're after something fresh. You have a good head for business, haven't you? No one can say I don't keep a stack shelf. Damn, that's a long way to go. See this map, yeah. <clears throat> and I don't have anything unlocked out there. Rebellion. Hogsmeade, here I come. Just what one of you? That's all. I better stay on track.
Revelio. Oh shit. Send you. Revelio. You're the one who released Treadwell, aren't you? What that was fuck? a mistake, my friend. Incendio. Not my fault you're a deadly great spider. Rebellion. Send you.
Revelio. Incendio. Revelio. Revelio. Can you imagine the last thing you see being the mouth of a Dementor? I've never been able to cast a Patronus. I don't think I'll be able to protect myself against a Dementor. The island itself may be a prison, but the Dementors make you a prisoner of your mind as well. Betting on the dragon fights was the best decision I've made yet. Let's see what these guys are. <clears throat> Oh, okay. Prepare their opponents with back to back attacks. Their powerful reductor curse cannot be blocked by shield charms, but interrupting that cast with a severing charm will spin them to the point of losing control and hitting one of their own gang. They're not part of our quest, so I'm not going to mess around with that. We're just, uh, Revelio. Punch 
striped scarf. Here I am, as good as my word. Kind of thinking I should probably have some of them health potions, but we meet again, Richard Jackdaw. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised to see you, just like a Gryffindor to brave the forbidden forest in pursuit of adventure. Well said. Now, where do we go from here? <laughs> Follow me. I shall lead you as far as I can, as I fear I may remain a tad reluctant to revisit the scene of my demise. Keep your eyes open for a bird bath. When you find it, say Intramuros. I think it's Latin. Or Greek. As you can imagine, I never paid much attention in school. Shall we? Aside from the bird bath, anything else I should look for? Indeed. A few landmarks. A stone bridge, a waterfall, and, if I recall, a lake. You'll see. You've been very helpful. Thank you. Revelio. This is cool looking. Surprising how much of this is rather unfortunately coming back to me. Mm. Hmm. Yes. You know, the closer we get, the more I'm remembering. Probably best I leave you to it. Simply stick to the path and keep a sharp eye out for that bird bath. Adieu. Is that Latin? Or Greek? Probably should have went and brewed some of those, uh, some of them health patients. What is this? This potion enhances drinkers' defense by covering them with a durable rocky skin. 
flying seconds. Chomping cabbage. Forbidden chomping cabbages that when released attack nearby enemies. Chomping cabbage seeds can be purchased at Dogweed and Death Cap. Must be grand, blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> Alright. Let's do this shit, man. Alright, there must be all that stuff flying around me that's making that noise. Dale's not half as tough as it sounds. Nothing. Would have preferred something. Yeah, I'm not gonna test my luck. The waterfall. For a thief, Jackdaw's surprisingly as good as his word. Revelio. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with them. Rebellion. I mean, it doesn't tell me anything, just how they were like house pets and whatnot. What's up, dude? Well, at least them ones kind of came up to me. The other gang of them uh, ran away from me. Shit, that fucking deer scared me. Is this where, uh... Something oddly solemn about this place. <laughs> Such beautiful <laughs> creatures, stags. I think this is where it happened. With the Dementors. Harry Potter. Wow. <clears throat> There it is, just as Jackdaw described. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. <clears throat> Incendio. Interesting. 
from yours. Ooh. Oh, shit. Aren't you a little far from home? Renrock knew you'd eventually lead us to whatever it is you're hiding. But, uh, will report back to Ranrock now. Let's see where Jack Doris led me. Revelio. I wonder how big this place is. Incendio. These rooms must have something to do with opening this door. Lumos. Oh, it's oh, some kind of fucking monster coming up from the water. <clears throat> Someone didn't want casual visitors down here. Revelio. Are you laughing about woman? I wonder if any of my spells will help me through this. No shit, sure lot. Incendio. Rebellion. 
Man, I don't want to go up in there. <laughs> I do have a health potion now, though. <clears throat> I've been doing all this without a health potion. Yeah, I found out I didn't have any either. The little ones, uh, they'll either just be part of the, sh yeah, part of the game, or you do you should kill. I'm not going to touch those. Ugh. Spectacle. I think I already had some of those. Good girl, Mila. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah, you can go that Dark sun hat. I already have one of those too. Got a lot of fucking spider fangs. Incendio. Ooh. Wonder if we can use these as like bombs or something. Yeah, because that like explodes when it drops. I bet you we could use these as bombs. Oh yeah, she went off for feeding. if I can move that platform somehow. Revelio. 
Revelio. Not a headless skeleton in sight. Hmm. But I may as well help myself to this. My dude's talking an awful lot. He don't usually talk all that much. Revelio. Kind of weird. <clears throat> Fucker break sooner or later. That's odd. I'd have thought Jackdaw would have been interested in this loot, but there's no sign of him. Revelio. Rebellion. I'll go through and change all this shit around when I get done. I'm not gonna mess with 
changing the colors and all that right now. I just want to make sure I have all the best shit on. Alright. <clears throat> Whew, I can't believe I got that. So can I. Revelio. Ah, I knew there was another one somewhere. Chop. Lost my cord. Rebellion. I hate cave systems because uh, you never know if you're going the right way you know what I mean like I want to make sure I'm getting everything which I know I can come back here because there's a uh, Revelio flu flame thing out there so I know I can come back here but I don't like to come back to shit that door didn't fall down there. chest. Territor wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave. I see some shit over there. the wrong way, didn't I? Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Okay, I'm gonna say that way is probably heading to the main section. I'm 
glad that the jackdaw left something behind for me. But where could he be? It must be the same level as something I already have on. Get out of there. Not a headless skeleton in sight. But I may as well help myself to this. <laughs> Repair it. get through there right there Revelion. So foul. Aha, uh -huh, so I was just that right there. Maybe I did, and I just didn't know it. 
No, I meant like through the rock, you know what I mean? Because in there is where I was just at, so. Rebellion. I don't care now because I'm over here, so. <laughs> Alright, I went everywhere over here, right? Yeah. That's where we came from. This is where we're going. An untouched so chest. Spectacles. Tactile wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave. I'm gonna check and see how much gear I, how many spaces I do have. <clears throat> Fourteen or twenty-four, okay. We're still good. Revelio. That's a pod. I'd have thought Jack like would have been came interested in. in this loop, but there's no sign of him. Rebellion. What the fuck is that noise? skeleton in sight hmm. but I may as well help myself to this so why am I floating around on this thing instead of just walking down on the floor Am I missing anything down on the floor? Like, know what that noise is.
Rebellion. Rebellion. Probably all the same place, isn't it? There it is. The bridge, it's almost complete. More spiders. Imagine how these spiders have multiplied since Jackdaw came this way. Revelio. Yes, it is. And why do I always find this shit after the fight? Oh, like everything else on this game, there's more levels. An untouched chest. Tactal wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave. I need to look around for the symbol. Alright, so bam, bam, jump down there and hit that one. Come on, dummy. Yes. I don't think I got it. There we go. I don't think I'm forgetting anything. I covered all the cave area, right? Yeah. 
Mallet sweet, hell yeah. Uh, let me get back up here to this top thing. That's odd. I'd have thought Jackdaw would have been interested in this loot, but there's no sign of him. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right, now I think we got everything. There's the floating candles. Is that what I'm doing? Is that weird map? The one with the floating candles and stuff? Rebellion. I must be getting closer to Jack Doll's remains and those yeah, pages. That bridge is badass. So cool. Rebellion. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. Thank you for keeping these pages safe all these years. Let me also. Accio.
Okay. <clears throat> Rebellion. Here it is. The map that brought your doom, Jackdaw. Hmm. Is there something beyond this room? Why do they always go for the wrong freaking guy? Is Jack looking dead as ever? What happened to him? Might it happen again? Always hit X trying to run away. used all my shit up. Incendio. Expelliarmus. 
Where am I? Oh no, the room's starting to flood. How am I being protected? What sort of magic is this? I can only hope this magic protects me until I'm able to make my way out of here. What is this place? Revelio. Can it be? Revelio. It's you. Has someone finally found our map chamber? I recognize you from the Pensives. You're Professor Rackham. I am indeed. I must confess that I am surprised to see someone so young standing before me. I'm the same age that you and Isadora Morganark were when you started at Hogwarts. You've paid attention. And might I presume you share our ability? To see traces of ancient magic? Yes, sir, I do. As you have likely realized by now, our ability gives us a unique relationship with all forms of magic. We can access expressions of magic that few others can. Opportunities will arise that allow you to sharpen this rare talent. Do not squander them. I won't, Professor. Thank you. We have much to discuss. But first, a map found in a certain book led you here. Place the book on the pedestal. I don't have the book with me, sir. Hmm. That is unfortunate. I'm afraid we must pause our conversation until you return with the book. I'm a bit confused, sir. Why is this room called the map chamber? I assure you that all will be clear once the book has been placed on the pedestal. The statues and carvings in the house on the cliffside, those are of you. Are you a seer? I am. Did you know that I would be here? I cannot say more at present, except to say that your presence here does not entirely surprise me. Very well. I'll retrieve the book right away. Good. We shall speak again once the book is in place.
Okay, I see one, two, and three. Okay. Um, it's only the 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 second one is the one that gives you the ability to swap it. Shit. Shit, I like that. want that shit. I don't know, maybe. Do we have to buy them in order so I can get the higher level ones? Just like that guy said, you, know, you won't have an unlimited number. You get one per time you level up, so. The ones that you can't get, you can't get yet. So how do I know what they cost me? Everything is one point. You have 15 talent points. See it up there in the corner? Yeah. I just wasn't sure how much stuff was costing. Yeah, it's just one. So I don't need to do one, two, three no. to have all of it. I can just do three and be done with it. No, you don't get everything in the one before. Oh, okay, so if I want all of it, then I got to... Yeah. Or to and tap happens. in direction to swap and unlock spell set. What well, fuck, that's what we already do, isn't it? No. You switch the set. You want the little things. Boom. You switch it. Oh, he's got another one off to the side right there. I think you hold R1 and push directional. This is what you're doing. So this is essentially just another slot. So you can have like three slots. No. It's not another slot. It's a whole other set that you just switch to. Yeah. Everything's preloaded. You put them in however order you want. Like, here's all my passive spells. Here's all my fighting spells.
That's pretty cool. You said the second one is what? It gives you another set. I'm going to back out to the garage and finish that little bit that I have. If you hold up, I'm going to go out when I get done. I mean, I don't know where I'm at. I thought I was getting my goddamn broom. <laughs> no, you don't listen. You Fuck. Know what? You don't have to spend all these things now. I still have fun. I know. I'm just looking. I'm... I only got the ones that I really wanted. Um, like the ones, the one you said you didn't want, Akio. Where it brings more to you. Oh, I ended up getting those. Oh, yeah. I, I Accio'd three wolves and then burnt all three of them. And they died. Yeah, I'm great. more concerned with the big motherfuckers that I fight with me bringing more of them closer to me. But if I can pick them up and levitate them and shit, you know what I mean? Then they're not going to be too big, so I'll be able to shoot them all while they're up there. Yeah. Um. Okay. But after, I don't think I'm all mess with any of the dark arts stuff on this one because I'm good. No, it's still, it, I don't, there's, it doesn't affect your, you just adds a curse. I know, but it's still bad. Where? You ain't got no bar uh, telling you dark how bad arts. something is? So it's stealing, but you be stealing out of chests all the time. Hey, they ain't doing nothing to me. <laughs> so it's the chest rape that you do. Little eyeballs. But after this is when the mission for the broom comes up. So I'm going to go pee. I'm going to pause.
All right, we'll just leave that spot open, I guess. Um, okay, okay, I got what they're saying now. All right. So now I can do that. Yeah. All right, son of a bitch, man. found the pages and the map chamber. Why would I need the book? Revelio. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased. Uh, okay. I think I've been in this room before, but I don't think the floor opened up like that. promise him I wouldn't neglect my studies while he was away. Suppose I have enough to distract myself with till he returns with a book.
Revelio. Never seen them before. Guys okay, up there dancing. Revelio. All right, <clears throat> that's it for me right there. Did not get my broom yet, but. I don't think it's too far away. Use Expelliarmus to disarm. We're vulnerable once our weapons leave their hands. I'll put to its knee, making it momentarily vulnerable to further attacks before it regains its strength. And we'll have to remember that. Trolls, man. All right. Oops. 